everybody's trying to uh, uh, manage expectations, let's say. Diba? On the one hand, we did have some hopeful news from Okta. Sabi nila, mukhang kumakagat naman yung, yung uh, restrictions natin. They're revising their forecast downward for the middle of April. At the same time, they're also saying, baka magkaroon ng artificial spike in numbers, baka magka-artificial na bumaba rin ang numbers. And now with the antigen test now going to be counted, uh, kanina I was speaking with General Padilla, she was, he was also saying, we might have to expect na tumakas din ng uh, ng konti ang numbers. Maybe in lang po, I want to start with that. Uh, put us in, a, in, in the proper framing for the numbers that we're expecting after Holy Week. We don't really expect that the number of cases will uh, significantly change until two weeks down the line coming from these restrictions because um, based on the behavior of this disease, whatever you do now takes about two weeks to play out in terms of infection and um, disease presentation. So um, realistically, the interventions we're doing now um, happening at the end of uh, March will probably be seen by the middle of April. Now, um, even even so, no, it's very important to continue with um, the the interventions because if we don't, then we can only expect the numbers to become even worse um, because we're not doing anything to address the problem. Well, in, in the meantime, DOH nga is proposing a uh, longer, one more week of ECQ sa NCR+. Plus. Ano pong tingin ninyo dito sa proposal na to? Kasi, of course, the business community doesn't want it. Saka, ano, pero yung mga OPA, uh, they have been proposing a two-week lockdown action. Yes. So, um, the, the wording in the original resolution was actually minimum of one week. So for me, that means that there's the option to increase um, the duration as necessary. Now, from the infectious disease perspective, um, it makes sense actually to target a two-week um, interval because as I said, diba, that's the behavior of this infection. And what do you expect to happen kung isang linggo lang yung uh, inimpose natin? Uh, but I guess, no, um, uh, we always just want to be very agile no, in terms of our intervention so that if there is an improvement that shows something that's significant and can can be responded to, then why not? Mm -hmm. Well, ma'am, is there any chance that uh, whatever will follow this week's ECQ could possibly be a, a more liberal ECQ? I mean, I know as it is right now, the ECQ we have is liberal compared to last year's ECQ. Yes. Uh, but there are those kasi who are playing with the idea na, na, oh yes, what if we extend the ECQ for one more week pero with a little bit more loosening of uh, the restrictions? Uh, would that make sense? Um, Ed, actually, we came from that already. Nung nag-rise yung mga numbers, there were already communications being um, sent to the different LGUs, um, informing them that uh, the numbers are rising, please mm -hmm. do this, mm -hmm. please do that. And I guess um, it's really just very difficult to get people into the mindset of uh, we need for your movements to be restricted unless there's a a declaration of some kind of a lockdown, right? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, so your preference, if if I may ask, your your preference is a is a, an extension of uh, of the ECQ as it is already, because uh, uh, to further uh, loosen the restrictions, restrictions would would I suppose defeat the purpose? So this is a personal um, reaction. Yes, it's my personal preference that sana ma-extend kasi parang um, mas magkakaroon ng magandang impact kung mabigyan natin ng two weeks. Hmm. Parang sulit, di ba? Parang sulit mm -hmm. kung hindi parang sayang lang yung one week. Yes.